Well, lots of interesting news and developments happening over at YouTube over the last 24 hours. Some uh, banning, some removals from partnership programs, uh, some changes uh, which apparently originated from requests from the White House. And journos get super salty over uh, an April Fool's joke. So we've got a lot of fun content for you today. Hey, if you're watching the video and you aren't yet subscribed, please do consider clicking that red subscribe button right down below the video. It's the only way you'll find my videos when I upload since YouTube, well, doesn't exactly serve them up in any real capacity. Now, yesterday I covered um, the double strike that Steven Crowder received on both his main channel and his secondary channel. I'm sorry, the demonetization. He also received a strike on his main channel. Later that day, uh, Steven Crowder uploaded a update video to Crowder Bits, uh, telling everybody exactly what would be going on with the channel and, you know, had promised to stream there. There were other people uh, you know? who reached out to me. In fact, uh, Mark Dice was one of them uh, to let, you know, Steven know that. YouTube isn't going to like this. So he uploads a video to Crowder Bits, and that gets struck down as what I can only assume is ban evasion. So to summarize what has happened in like the last 24 hours is that YouTube has struck his main channel, removed it from the partnership program, permanently demonetizing it. They have now struck his second channel, and removed that from the partnership program. This on top of a bizarrely timed Twitter ban with, as far as I've seen, no real reason. Uh, so what Crowder's been left with is the ability to stream on his own website. And the media is absolutely celebrating this. And it's just, it's just so messed up. Look, I understand that there are topics um, that quite frankly, are very risky to address on this platform. Uh, it's just, you know, first of all, it's not going to get the green check mark of goodness. Second of all, uh, it could very well get you permanently deplatformed. Now, Crowder has two strikes and remains just one strike away from having all of his channels removed from YouTube entirely. Now, the rules about ban evasions um, are at times murky, but the second channel thing is now the myth is disproven. So a lot of people, including myself, have maintained extra channels and done the minimum to get them monetized in case, you know, you get a strike and you can't work for a week. If you're like Crowder or me uh, or like Tim Pool, we all upload multiple videos a day. Um, we provide hours of content each day to have a week uh, unpaid vacation is a massive, massive financial hit. Massive. Uh, and that's why, you know, YouTube does look at that, look at things a little bit differently with larger channels. Uh, I was able to confirm this in my meeting with YouTube on Monday, uh, where they informed me that, you know, there are people that watch my channel and like Tim's channel and others, and they're in charge of them. Uh, and they provide additional context to, uh, let's say, community guidelines people. Uh, but if we look at, uh, you know, the media uh, celebrating this, not enough, The Verge says. YouTube has removed Steven Crowder from its partner program indefinitely. He'll be back in a week, but without YouTube ad revenue. Now, this is, if you read between the lines, what The Verge is saying is, you know, ah, He's not totally banned. You didn't go far enough. Two weeks ago, after YouTube revealed his definition of speech we don't like, uh, was so narrow that it couldn't remove a wildly uh, mean tirade from being mean, we wondered out loud what it would take for YouTube to stop promoting conservative commentator Steven Crowder. Now, again, I don't consider myself... A conservative. I am fiscally conservative, but I'm definitely uh, liberal in any like human rights issues, and um, you know. So 
but I do acknowledge that the conservative side of YouTube plays by a completely different and more strict set of rules. Uh, let me give you a perfect example. Uh, BreadTube or let's say CNN gets to publish and monetize wild theories about Russia in 2016, uh, engaging in that election. Um, but in 2020, if you were to raise any questions about the election, you're banned, like literally banned from the platform. Okay. That is what I'm talking about when there is a clear double standard. I mean, mainstream media, which is basically YouTube now, uh, promoted these wild theories. Remember the dossier that was fake, all this stuff proven fake, and they just let them upload and kept monetizing it because, well, I think we all know. Now, if people on the right, uh, you know, postulate the same theories just for the other guy, so to speak, they're banned, removed, and you get the full force of mainstream media coming down on you and wanting to have you deplatformed. Uh, so conservative commentator Steven Crowder as an official YouTube partner and allowing him to profit from those tirades. Today, we have a partial answer. YouTube has officially suspended Steven Crowder's main channel from the partnership program indefinitely. I don't think they're going to bring him back. Um, and this is something that anybody who speaks against the mainstream narrative has to run into. Fortunately, he has his mug club. I have my subscribe star. We are stuck at 97.5% of this goal. I need like 100 backers today. If you're watching this video and you're waiting for a time to consider backing my content, this is um, this goes directly towards keeping this channel afloat in the event that the same thing happens to me, and it will, of course, eventually. Um, I know it's kind of a pain to sign up, and but I, I assure you, the five minutes it takes for you to do it, it does so much to keep this content flowing. Let's get past this. I need 100 backers today, and we'll get on to the next goal. I digress. It's also banning him from uploading videos for a full week after his latest infraction, a now-removed video that had reportedly challenged uh, things in Nevada. YouTube has a policy against, quote, false claims, Again, Crowder has already announced his intent to upload videos to his other Crowder Bits channel. However, here's YouTube's statement, including links. In order to monetize on YouTube, channels must comply with our partnership program policies. Um, you know, channels that repeatedly violate are suspended. In addition, we removed a video from Stephen Crowder's channel for violating the presidential uh, in election integrity policy and apply to strike, meaning uploads are suspended for one week. Again. Millions of videos exist of people talking about uh, Mo Russia uh, interfering, but uh, you know you can't. You can't. I mean, I don't know how how to feel as a content creator. Um, by the way, right now Odyssey is my primary all uh, alternative media upload platform. If you want to or are I want to explore a new platform I'll leave a link in the pinned comment below just go over there and create an account and watch a few videos there it's kind of feels like a whole different experience it, it kind of feels like old YouTube so get over to Odyssey today and just create an account create an account and and um, you know I'll leave a link to my channel you could check it out there I'm actually starting exclusive uploads on alt tech starting in April which is tomorrow uh, a couple a week. While YouTube isn't telling us which straw broke the camel's back when it comes to the partnership program and its ability to run ads, the company did point us to, to, to towards two specific guidelines, the controversial issues and sensitive events and harmful acts. I would have guessed that awful meanie tirades would have already broken the partnership program, but I shouldn't have read into that too much. It's not the first time Carter's been removed from the partner program. Last time, it took him just over a year to come back. And you see uh, this uh, agency who uh, Media Matters is another, you know, uh, digital bully corporation. After being suspended from YouTube, Stephen Crowder announces his plan to evade it via uh, his other YouTube channel. Update. Oh, so on March 30th, so the media just 
you know, ascended upon him with a fury because there's blood in the water. That's why you don't talk about it. That's why you don't tell people when you get strikes because this is what they do. On March 30th, YouTube host Steven Crowder announced that YouTube had demonetized and suspended one of his account for a week. Crowder first announced on Instagram and his co-host Garrett Morrison and Gerald Morgan also made announcements on Twitter. Crowder has already stated his intention to evade the suspension. I got to be honest with you, the policy around you know, ban evasion, if you have a secondary channel, is murky to me. For example, I started uploading to my Midwestly channel again. It's a politics channel. I cover, like, hard political issues there. If I were banned here, would I also not be able to upload there, even though it's a different style of video? It's really bizarre. Um, so, of course, they pointed this out. Um, you know, Crowder has reportedly been suspended from Twitter in recent weeks. Um, again... An article on Crowder's website stated that YouTube cited violations of the platform's policy related to misinformation and incendiary content. In a brief update episode with Lauder with Crowder on Blaze TV that day, Crowder's attorney, Bill Richman, you don't even have his name, Bill Richardson? Come on, guys. What a, what a, what a great, literally everybody knows his name. You can't get that right? Explained on this saying that YouTube determined a video from March violated its policies. The March 1st edition of the Carter Show is no longer available on YouTube channel. Uh, again, Rich Richardson also stated that Crowder Bits had been demonetized but not suspended. We have Carlos Maza dancing, celebrating. He peddled election and coup theories to millions of people. YouTube's punishment, less than a week-long suspension. He's allowed to keep posting on his secondary channel. They'll get him more followers and more subscribers. The cycle continues. Again, these people, make no mistake, back your favorite content creators. If it's not me, if, if it's Tim, or if it's Crowder, or if it's Mark Dice, or it's... These people don't just want you removed. They want you off the planet Earth, and it sickens sickens me i hope this video i won't say you enjoyed it but i hope it was informative and i hope it inspires you to get out there check out some alt tech i'll leave a link to my odyssey channel um sign up create an account just create an account watch videos once a week you know just check it out start getting it a part of your rotation uh, i hope you enjoyed though uh and we'll talk to you again real soon